In this video, we will see how to connect Power BI Desktop to Oracle BI Publisher data models. So right now I'm seeing my Oracle Analytics Cloud instance and the list of data models are created under the shared folders demo directory. You might have your data models in your Oracle Fusion, ERP, HCM, SCM, C or CX applications or even data intelligence, Oracle Analytics Server. So in all these applications, you can still Use the same. Let's, right now, I'm having an Oracle Analytics Cloud application. Let's see how to create a connection first. So I click on New Data Source. This is the BI Connector application, and I've already clicked on New Data Source. Now, right now, I'm just going to name it as Oracle Data Models for the data source name. That's easy for me to identify. And the data source type, I'm just leaving it as Data Models. And the Oracle Analytics application, you can choose the application based on what you have. I'm adding Analytics Cloud, so I'm choosing that. If you have Fusion, you have to choose this and so on. So let's go with, and then here the URL, I'm just going to copy the URL up to oraclecloud.com and I'm pasting it here. Just in case if you have a custom port number for your Oracle BA instance, you can just remove the slash here and give a colon and enter the port number. So and then I'm just entering my Oracle credentials here. And then I go to the folder path. So the data models of my interest live within the shared folders demo directory. So I can easily take the folder path by clicking on any of the data models more properties. And the location is my folder path. So I have to copy including the slash in the beginning and then pasting it here. And I'm trying, I click verify and add. Okay, it's added here. Similarly, I can whitelist multiple folder paths to the same data source based on my need. And I finally click on test and save. Yeah, the data source has been created successfully. Now let's go to tables. I click add table. I'm giving this table a name. Let's say Germany orders the data source. I'm selecting it from the drop down, which is Oracle data models that I recently created for the data models. So I'm selecting that. Next, select data set. At this point, BI connector is talking to the particular folder and fetching the list of data models available there. So I'm just and I'm seeing customers, leaves, order details. So all of those data models are actually set up here. So let's take order details. Meanwhile, I'll also open it up here. I click on edit on the order details. It has a data set called orders. So the same data set is showing up here. I select it. Next, configure parameters. So this data model has a couple of parameters here. So I can add a parameter value here and save it as a table. For example, shipping country, I'll just give it as Germany. And want to ensure that the data shows up correctly and the param parameter values are applied correctly. So I click on preview. The shipping country is Germany, the parameter is applied correctly and the data shows up. So I click on save. At this point, the setup required on the BA connector for this Germany orders table is completed. Now let's go to Power BI desktop. I click get data, I type BI connector, I select BI connector is actually Power BI certified for connecting to Oracle BI data sources. Now I click on connect. It is asking me to enter the name of the data source. So I just go back to the BI connector application and I'm copying this data source name Oracle data models. And then I'm pasting it here. I click OK. It is asking me to enter my Oracle credentials. So I'm just entering it here. I click connect. I expand this. I expand this and then the Germany orders table that I created is showing up here. I select it and I click on load. It is actually importing the data with the germ of for the Germany orders table with the Germany parameter value applied.
and once you create a report in Power BI Desktop, you can also publish the report to the Power BI service and automate it. So you'll just have to go through the same setup on your Power BI KP server once and you can automate the reports. So yeah, here is my data. I just select a quick visualization. See the country. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.